Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Today I will be uh, implementing what I call a base HR application, which um, can be used for multiple projects. I have a JDeveloper open, and I'm going to be creating a ADF application. And uh, my application will be called HR. And uh, I am going to I'm going to place that application into this directory. And we're just basically going to take all the defaults for this because it, all it does is build it. Um, we're going to get rid of that. And um, we need to put a database in here. This is already connected. So you just drag and drop the database down. Drag and drop the database down. And there it goes. And now we're going to, there is no, nothing in the, the model there. So we're going to do new. And ADF business components. HR. I'm basically just going to take the HR um, on a query. There it goes. I'm going to take the employees table. Sometimes we might use the departments table, but um, just for today, we'll just use the employees table. Now, this is going to create also a view object, which is based off of the entity. And there will be um, some, oh, excuse me, my mistake. It's always nice to place these in uh, different packages. Let's just make sure we have our. Okay, so into the objects, we'll go into the EO object uh, package. View objects, I like to put in the VO. And um, we're not going to do any of these today. Uh, and this one, we're going to put in the AM package. It just sorts it in the, the tree nicely so that it's um, easier to find things. And that's what it looks like when you've got everything. Now, um, the employees table does have self-referencing primary keys that reference the um, HR, I'm sorry, the uh, manager. OK, and here we are. We have AM, which has the application model. We have the EO. And here's that pesky uh, thing. What we're going to do is um, refactor it. We'll find usages first. Um, and there are a bunch. You can actually double click on it and it'll take you to there. And you can see that uh, this spans both of these. I'm just going to remove them all. And uh, there they're gone. Then we come over here. And this is the view link, which we're going to get rid of. So we don't really need to do anything there. We'll do find usages again. Nothing. Oh, that's the view link. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to get rid of that too. Okay, now we're going to go over to the VO, find usages. Just helps us to find out where it needs to be. Uh, let's open up the application module. Oops. And uh, go over to the overview. I'm sorry, data model. Get rid of this just because it's referencing it. Save that. Okay. Now that's gone. You can see that it's gone out of there. And we will remove this also. That's all I need to get rid of there. Now we do find usages again. It's kind of irritating. Um, but just to keep it clean, that's the best way of doing it. So now here you have your base object for um, developing a simple application. You can put other entities in there. Um, departments table or jobs table is often nice to have. But um, now what you can do is um, actually start doing the JSF. But we'll leave that for another day. Uh, that was a very simple and quick way of uh, building an entity object and view object in JDeveloper. Have a good evening.